kuna baraka na kuna mambo mengi inafanyika in the house of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Yesu alisema nyumba ya baba yangu itaitwa nyumba ya maombi kwa mataifa yote. So it is good to have a house of God mahali watu naweza kimbilia waweze kuja waombe ukisoma pia uh, ju, uh, wakati wa Solomon alipojenga nyumba Bible nasema alipomaliza kujenga alimwambia Bwana uh, wacha jina lako liweze kuwa hapa uh, wacha macho yako masikio yako yawe hapa ili ya kwamba watu wakija hapa waweze kuja waombe wakienda kupigana vita wapate ushindi idha kama kuna tauni ama kuna magonjwa wakipitia hapa katika nyumba yako waombe uweze kuwasikia naye Mungu akasema nimekubali ya kwamba nitaweza kuwa katika hiyo nyumba masikio yangu nitaweza kuwa nasikia macho yangu na pia moyo wangu na watu wakija hapa waombe nitaweza kuwasikia na nitaweza kuwapigania katika mambo yao yote Bwana asifiwe sana nataka kuongea about the power of God Hallelujah. Bible nasema Mungu aliumba dunia yote kwa nguvu zake. Mungu aliyokuwa wana wa Israeli kwa nguvu zake. It is by his power mambo yanafanyika kwa sababu ya nguvu zake. And you know you cannot separate God with power. Hauwezi kuseparate Mungu na nguvu. Ndiyo sababu kisoma kitabu cha Psalms 105 Uh, in verse 4 inasema mtafuteni Mungu na nguvu zake because you cannot separate God with power na ndio sababu wakati wote unapoamua kumtafuta Bwana kile ambacho Mungu atakupatia atakupatia nguvu hakuna siku utaona Mungu amekuja kukupigania vita akuji asimame mbele zako akiwa na upanga apigane na maadui zako kile Mungu atafanya unapomuomba kwa sababu ya hali unazopitia he give you power anakupatia nguvu za kupigana na ndio sababu proverbs inasema ukiona unazimia wakati ambapo kuna shida ni nguvu zako ziko kidogo ni nguvu zimepungua Bwana asifiwe sana. So, wakati mwingi tunapomuita Bwana, aidha ni katika mambo tunapitia, katika vita, milima tunapanda, kile Mungu anakuja anatupatia nguvu. Ukisikia tababu ukisema kwamba Mungu anatubeba, hiyo ni sahihi, inasema Mungu anatubeba. Anatubeba na nini? Anatubeba na nguvu zake. Zinatuinua, zinatubeba. Tunaweza kupitia juu ya shida zile zote ziko duniani. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mambo mengine Mungu atakuja aweze kuyaondoa. Atakupatia uweza wa kukabiliana na hayo mambo. Uweze kuyashinda. Uweze kuinuka juu ya mambo yale ambayo unapitia. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema kwamba Biblia inasema adui akinuka kama galika, kile Mungu atafanya ni roho wake atakuja ainue kiwango. Ni kiwango cha nini? Ni kiwango cha nguvu zake. Kwa hiyo ukisoma katika Bible wakati wote Roho Mtakatifu aliweza kuja kwa watu aliwapatia power. So kile Mungu anatupatia wakati tunapomuita anatupatia power. He gave us power. Praise the name of the living God. Ndiyo Bible inasema seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Hii inasema strength. Zingine zinasema power. Seek the Lord and his power. Mutafute Mungu na nguvu zake. Hallelujah. Na tunapo pia ongea about the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 20 inasema about the kingdom of God. Wakati tunaposema about the kingdom juu ya ufame wa Mungu, we are talking of power. Hallelujah. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not word but in power. So tunapongea about the kingdom of God uh, as we seek the kingdom of God the Bible says that we seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness tutafute uh, ufame wa Mungu na haki yake na haya mengine tutaweza kuzidishiwa tunaposema about the kingdom mahali popote panatajwa the kingdom of God panatajwa power panatajwa nguvu praise the name of the living God uh, shetani yako na nguvu katika ufame wake na mimi wanasema hivi tuache kusema shetani ni powerless. Shetani huwa anafanyika powerless because you have the power. Yeah, because shetani yako na ufame wake. Enda soma kitabu cha Job. Wakati Mungu alikuwa anapatiana Job kwa shetani. 
Ha? Wakati Mungu alikuwa anamwambia shetani enda uguze maisha ya Job. Bible inasema kwamba Mungu alimwambia shetani sasa Job ako chini ya power zako. Ako chini ya nguvu zako nimempatiana. So shetani yako na powers. Ndiyo sababu kitabu cha Efeso 6 Bible inasema kwamba we fight with powers. Hallelujah. Kuna power sambazo tunapigana nazo. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha tunapomtafuta Mungu kwa sababu kuna vita tunapitia. Kwa sababu kuna vita ambazo tunapigana. Kile Mungu atafanya atakuja tupatie power ndio tuweze kupigana na powers. Praise the name of the living God. There is powers. Na ndio sababu Yesu akasema I will build my church. Yesu alikuwa anatumia matirio gani ku build the church? Anatumia power kujenga kanisa. That is one of the materials. Yesu anatumia kujenga kanisa ndio marango ya kuzimu ya siweze kanisa. Amen. So kama kuna kitu tunapaswa kutafuta mpendo wa tuwe nacho kila wakati it is the power of God. Ni nguvu za Mungu ziwe katika maisha yetu. Bwana asifiwe sana. The Bible says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers uh, of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Bible nasema we do not wrestle against flesh uh, fresh and blood. Hatupigani na damu na nyama. Tunapigana na principalities. Tunapigana na powers. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa hivyo lazima tuweze pia kuwa na power ya kupigana na powers. There is no way unaweza kupigana na powers na hauna power. So as a church tunapaswa kutafuta power and thank God kwa sababu ya revelation ya fasting. Because when you pray and fast unapofunga na kuomba unafinyilia mwili. But unapofinyika mwili fasting inakupatia uweza wa kupokea nguvu za Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. You know kuna watu wanajua about powers or about power ndio sababu wakifanya biashara wako na madhabahu huwa wanaenda kupata nguvu. Wanapata nguvu za kuwasaidia katika biashara zao. Praise the name of the living God. Na si tuko na madhabahu ya Bwana. Mahali ambapo tunakuja kikiwa kama kisima tunapata nguvu za kutusaidia kusonga mbele. Hey, ndio sababu Yesu akamwambia Martha, kuna kitu ambacho meli anapokea. Ni kitu gani ambacho meli inapokea na pengine walipomaliza kuongea, Yesu alipomaliza kuongea, meli alisimama, hakuna kitu walikuwa wamebeba kinaonekana. Lakini meli kuna power alikuwa napokea wakati Yesu alikuwa naongea ndio bible inasema kwamba mahali tumesoma the kingdom of god is not words it is power so Yesu alipokuwa naongea si maneno alikuwa natamuka peke yake alikuwa naachilia power praise the name of the living god Hallelujah. May you receive the power of God in this week. Katika wiki hii natangaza kila moja apokee nguvu za Bwana za kumsaidia kusimama wakati mzito, wakati mgumu, wakati kuna vita. Pokea ni nguvu za Bwana katika wiki hii in the name of Jesus. Hey, tuko na appointment wiki hii na Mungu wetu. Kama vile watu wanapanga, wanaomba appointment kwa watu fulani wapate pesa tuko na appointment na Mungu wetu wiki hii na atatupatia kitu ambacho ni zaidi ya pesa praise the name of the living god Peter na Johanna wakasema hatuna pesa lakini kuna kitu ambacho tumebeba tumebeba power za kufanya viweto watembee na kwa hilo jina la Kristo Yesu ambao liko na nguvu wakambia kimete simama utembee praise the name of the living god na simama kutangaza kama kuna hali zimekutukondolea macho hii wiki tutashinda hizo hali zote kwa sababu kuna nguvu za Bwana ambazo tunapokea in the name of Jesus hilo jeshi la giza limekataa kuondoka miaka mingi tukitamuka maneno lakini sasa wiki hii sio maneno tutaachilia tunaachilia power tunaachilia power 
tunaachilia power tunaachilia power katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu alimwambia Musa enda kwa farao na power kwa sababu wako na powers tunatafuta power za kutusaidia kufanya kazi na kuweza kufanikiwa katika haya maeneo kuna watu wanatafuta powers wapate kibali kazini ndio tufutwe kazi lakini wacha tutangaze he power zinapigana na powers Praise the name of the living God. Unajua Mungu alimwambia Musa, usiende mikono mitupu na maneno matupu. Enda na power kwa farao. Farao wako na powers. Hizo powers zimeshika watu wangu hawaondoki. Wanafanya kazi bila mshahara. Lakini sasa enda na power ukawa delive. Alipofika kwa farao, magician wa farao wakaweka fimbo zao chini zikawa nyoka. Lakini ya Musa ilipofanyika nyoka kwa sababu ilikuwa na power ikameza nyoka zile zingine zote za magician wa farao. Praise the name of the living God. Nataka nitume watu wiki hii. Najua kuna powers mnapigana nazo. Najua kuna powers mnapigana nazo na kutuma na power. Enda uweke power ya Mungu chini katika hiyo familia. Uone hiyo power ikisaka, ikinyonya, ikimaliza he nguvu zingine zote. Ziwe ni za uganga, ziwe ni za uchawi. Sinamezwa na nguvu za Mungu ambazo tunabeba wiki hii in the name of Jesus Christ hatutakaa bila power nimekataa kuwa powerless katika maisha yangu katika jina la Yesu Kristo kena soka baha hita bahande bena peya taya mazia weka na mashanda ba yeta bahata baganda the power of God to wage warfare the power of God to fight the power of God to overcome powers the power of God to bring down these parties the power of God to bring down all evil altars the power of God to destroy all the works of the enemy the Bible says that the son of man was manifested to destroy the work of the enemy the church is manifested to destroy the work of the enemy tunasimama kutangaza adui hataweza kuzuilia kile ambacho Mungu anataka tufanye katika muchi na maeneo tofauti katika jina la Yesu Kristo we are receiving the power of God in the name of Jesus ninapokea nguvu za Mungu ninapokea nguvu za Bwana za kuweza kunisaidia kupigana warfare in the mighty name of Jesus Yetaya rabaganda ikaya tarabosia heya tabaha meya taya boshanda in the name of Jesus Yetana mazere begenda mazaya oh god heya tabaha in the name of Jesus nekabaganda wale wamekuwa kimuita bwana wakimwambia vita zimekuwa kali kile Mungu atafanya atakupatia nguvu wale wamekuwa kimuita bwana wakimwambia Mungu nishindanie anasema sawa sawa Bible nasema vae ni silaha zote za vita hizo silaha tunazovaa ndio tuweze kupigana tunavaa nguvu za Mungu tunavaa nguvu za Mungu tunavaa nguvu za Mungu wakati Daudi alivaa silaha alipovaa nguo za Sauli alishindwa kusonga mbele alipovaa nguvu za Mungu aliweza kumaliza Goliath hatutavaa tu silaha za kawaida hapana tunavaa nguvu za Mungu tunavaa uweza wa Bwana tunavaa power in the mighty name of Jesus neka na maha neya taya baganda neya taya na mazia neya taya baganda in the mighty name of Jesus the power of God we need the power of God tuko na kiu cha nguvu za Mungu tunashaukia nguvu za Bwana tunashaukia uweza wa Bwana neno la Mungu lasema hatuchepigana vita hadi kumwaga damu tukipigana na dhambi hata kupigana na dhambi we need the power of God because to overcome sin we must wage warfare we must fight ne 
hata baganda ne hata na mazia kuna watu watapigana na ngome ambazo zimewazuidia kuna watu watapigana na principality wiki hii na watashinda hit this time this time hawataremewa this time hawataashindwa kwa sababu hawataenda vile walienda wakashindwa wataenda na nguvu za Mungu zitakazowasaidia kupigana vita vya kiroho in the mighty name of Jesus Christ there is power 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 shaka nama yeta baganda there is power to fight there is power to fight our enemy there is power to fight all powers all principalities we kabaganda yeta nama zia yeta ya baganda there is power to fight there is power to wage warfare in the name of jesus there is power to wage warfare there is power to fight in the name of jesus Yes my God Yes my God Hey Kwa nini uremewe? Kwa nini ushindwe? Kwa nini upoteze vita? Kwa nini upoteze vita mpendwa? Kwa nini kubali kupoteza vita? Na Mungu amejaa utajiri wa nguvu zake. Ndio Bible nasema kitabu cha Psalms 147 and verse 4 and 5. Bible nasema our God is rich in power. Our God is rich in power. Ako na nguvu nyingi za kutusaidia. Kwa nini kubali kuremewa? Kwa nini upoteze vita? Watu wanapopoteza, kwa nini useme juu ya kushindwa? Wengine wakisema kushindwa. Na wewe uko na Mungu mkubwa. Wewe uko ndani ya ufame. The kingdom that the Bible says, the kingdom that cannot be shaken. The kingdom that cannot be moved. The kingdom that cannot be shaken. It is our kingdom. Kenasoka tabaganda. Ikama serebenda rabozia. Yetayaba hata rabaganda. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes my God. Reka baganda. Bible nasema Yesu alipokuwa anahubiri. The power of God was present to heal the sick. Ukiona mahali kuna magonjwa imekatalia. Ah. What we need is the power of God. The Bible says that the power was present. Yesu akihubiri, nguvu zilikuwa hapo. Zinatembea tu zinaponya watu. We need the power of God. Hey. What we need? It is the power of God. What we need now? It is the power. Ni nguvu za Mungu za kuponya magonjwa. We need the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Bible sema hivi wakati ambapo kulitokea vitisho wakati wanafunzi walikuwa wanahubiri injili kukatokea vitisho wakanyamazishwa wakaambiwa waache kuhubiri ha wengine wanakamatwa wanapigwa Bible nasema hivi wakati moja wakashikwa wakachapwa viboko na wakaachiliwa walipoachiliwa walienda kwa kanisa wakaambia watu kile ambacho kinafanyika wanapingwa Wakati watu walisikia kanisa lilisikia Bible inasema wakaanza maombi walitangaza maombi wakaomba wakaomba na wanaomba kwa sababu wanatishwa wanaomba kwa sababu wanakamatwa wakipigwa viboko Bible inasema the more waliomba mahali ambapo walikuwa wanaombea pakatikiswa wakajazwa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu wakahubiri injili kwa ujasiri Niliposoma hiyo maandiko Nikaona badara Mungu wakati maadui kichwa wanaopinga injili. Badara Mungu wachome na moto because Bible nasema Mungu ni Mungu ni moto ulao. He is a consuming fire. Basi angeachilia moto uchome na maadui. Lakini Mungu hakufanya hivyo. Alikuja akapatia watumishi wake nguvu wakahubiri kwa ujasiri. Kile Mungu atafanya sio hawa watu watamaliza. Ha? si maadui zako watamaliza hapana kila Mungu atafanya atakupatia nguvu za kuweza kufanya mambo wakiwa wanatazama atakupatia power ya kushinda maadui zako praise the name of the living god when they had prayed 
Huh? The place where they were assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Kile mungu aliwapatia after kutishwa aliwapatia nguvu kupitia roho wake mtakatifu wakahubiri kwa ujasiri. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kile Mungu atatupatia wapendo wa katikati ya upinzani mkubwa, katikati ya uzito, katikati ya kuzingirwa na maadui. Kile Mungu atakacho tupatia ni nguvu za kuweza kusimama. We need the power. Praise the name of the living God. We need the power. Ukisoma kitabu cha Proverbs 24 and verse 10. Ukiona unashindwa, sio kuokoka hujaokoka. Umeokoka. Lakini yaweza kuwa hauna nguvu. Mwana sifa sana. The Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Ukiona unalemewa. Ha? Na vita, unalemewa na mishale. Bible inasema kwamba kile ambacho kinafanyika maishani mwako, nguvu zako ni kidogo. Ni nguvu zimepungua. Afadhali basi wale wanaojua siri wanajua nguvu zinapopungua wanakimbia kwa kisima. Mtu akisikia kiu nakimbia kwa mfereji. Nawe unajua wakati ambapo nguvu zako zimepungua kimbia kwa madhabahu. Kimbia kwa kisima. Mtafute Bwana. Ndio una mtafuta Mungu nguvu zako zinaongezeka. Kwa sababu inasema kwamba wale wanaomgojea anawafanya upya nguvu zao. Wanapaa juu kama tai. Praise the name of the living God. May God renew your strength. In the name of Jesus. And you know, kuna jambo moja, shetani huwa najua. Number one, wakati ambapo uko weak, you cannot deliver. The Bible says, watoto walikuwa karibu kuzaliwa, kukakosa nguvu za kuwaza. Ndiyo Bible husema. So, wakati hau na nguvu, you cannot be able to deliver. And number two wanajua wakati ambapo hauna nguvu unafanyika chakula chake anaweza kukumaliza kwa haraka Anaweza kufanyia kama Samson wakati alimaliza Samson nguvu alianza kufanya kazi ya alishika Samson akamweka awe anamsiagia ngano akifanya michezo wanafurahia wakiwa kwa stadium lakini hawange muweza wakati alikuwa na nguvu na ni sababu swali moja ya deraida the source of your power nguvu zako zinatokaga wapi kama ni kanisani unazuiliwa kwenda kama ni kuomba unazuiliwa kuomba praise the name of the living god because shetani wanajua akitampa na source ya nguvu zako ufanyike powerless unafanyikaga chakula chake na ataweza kukushinda Ndiyo Bible imesema kwamba ukishindwa siku ya shida nguvu zako ni kidogo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Do you know Muswahili huwa anasema umoja ni nguvu, utengano ni udhaifu. When we come together tuko na uwezo wa kupigana vita fulani. Tuko there is power ambazo the Bible says that one can chase a thousand but two can chase ten thousands. When we come together we can be able to fight our enemies. But when we are scattered hata kama tunatenganishwa na nini tunakuwa weak. Mwana apee sifa. Na tunapofanyika weak shetani anaweza kutushambulia na aweze kutumaliza. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nimekuja kutangaza we hautamalizwa. Pokea nguvu za kupigana warfare. Kile ambacho kinamaliza wengine, receive the power of God. Kama kuna watu wenda mahali kutafuta powers, waweze kufinyilia maisha yako chini na simama kutangaza, pokea nguvu za kupigana warfare. Wakienda madhabahu ni mwao, wakija na nguvu zao, we simama na nguvu za Bwana. Pigana vita in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Inasema hivi second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 inasema his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue sikiza hii Bible inasema ni nguvu his divine power ni nguvu zake za kiungu zinazotusaidia kuweza kupata mambo ya hapa duniani na pia mambo ya ufame wa biguni. 
his divine power hii ni kusema hivi watu wale wanasemaga Mungu ni bariki hapa duniani waachilia baraka waachilia mali wacha nikuambie Mungu sio gali atakuteremshia kama umerara ikuje mahali yuko Bible nasema kwamba it is by his power ni kupitia nguvu za Mungu tunapossess Ukiomba Mungu akupatie utajiri, usigojea kuletee shamba, atakupatia nguvu upate utajiri. Deuteronomy 8:18. Ndio Bible inavyosema, he gives power to make wealth. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini baada ya kusoma maandiko kama haya, ya kwamba ni Mungu anapatiana power. The Bible says and you shall remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he saw to your fathers as it is this day. Hallelujah. It is God who gives power to make wealth. Kwa hivyo ukitaka Mungu akuinue tafuta nguvu za Mungu. Tafuta nguvu zake. Hizo nguvu zake zinakusaidia kupata utajiri. Praise the name of the living God. Na kuombea nguvu za Mungu zibe juu yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Receive the power of God to help you to enable you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mwana asifiwe sana. Eh, hey, siupokee hizo nguvu. Kuna watu watapokea nguvu na wataanza kupossess maeneo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe sana, watapossess biashara. Amen. Watafanya biashara na robi wanafaulu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wakiweka biashara hata kakiwa kadogo kwa sababu wako na power, hiyo biashara inapanuka, inaongezeka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pokea hizo nguvu za Bwana zitakusaidia in the name of Jesus Christ. Kuna watu wangependa kufanikiwa, wangependa kufaulu, lakini wacha nikuambie Sikiza hii, Bible nasema kwamba ufame wa Mungu unatekwa na nguvu na wenye nguvu ndio watauteka. That is now the kingdom. Na Bible nasema kwamba mali tumesoma ni nguvu za Mungu zinatusaidia kupata mambo ya kiroho na mambo ya hapa ulimwenguni. So kama ufame wa Mungu unatekwa na nguvu na wenye nguvu wanauteka, what about hapa duniani? Ndiyo Bible inasema juu ya Yesu inasema atagawanya nyara na wenye nguvu. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa hivyo sio rahisi wapendwa. Sio rahisi ndio sababu napenda warfare. Napenda vita vya kiroho kwa sababu najua napapigana vita vya kiroho kuna mambo naweza kunyang'anya adui. Hey, Yesu wakasema hawezi kupokea vitu hivi hivi lazima ushike kwanza mtu karao the strong man bind him then chukua vitu vyake Bwana abesifa kuna vitu ndio tuweze kuchukua lazima tuweze kubind the strong man Bwana asifiwe sana pokea nguvu za kupigana vita katika jina la Yesu Kristo Hallelujah. Shetani anajua ukiwa mudhaifu ni rahisi sana kufanya jambo lolote. Na Bible nasema vizuri ya kwamba hamujepigana vita hadi kumwaga damu mkipigana na dhambi. Praise the name of the living God. Anaweza kuletea dhambi. Ha? Uangushwe na dhambi kwa sababu hauna power za kuresist because kukataa kufanya dhambi it is to resist. Bible na, na Bible usema hivi James mkaribieni Mungu alafu muweze kuresist the devil. Ha? So dhambi zinapokuja maisha ni mwako lazima uresist. Useme sitaifanya. Sitasengenya. Sitaongea mambo ya watu. Do you know even to forgive others you need the power. Eh? Hata kusamehea watu kuna nguvu ambazo unatumia kusamehea watu. Ukiona kuna watu wa usamehei, si kwa sababu ya jambo kubwa alikufanyia ni nguvu hauna. Ni nguvu hauna. Wakati uko na nguvu za Mungu, you can forgive anybody hata kama alikufanyia jambo gani because you have the power to forgive. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, the Bible says you have not yet resist to bloodshed, striving against sin. Hallelujah. Wewe utashinda. 
wewe utashinda katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa sababu kuna nguvu ambazo Mungu anawachilia katika maisha yako. Hiyo ndiyo message Mungu anipatia wiki hii. Na Mungu akaniambia hii wiki kuna watu wanataka kuwajaza na nguvu. Number one, waweze kupossess maeneo. Waweze kufaulu mahali wengine wana feel in the name of Jesus. Number two nikasikia hata tupatia nguvu ndio tuweze kupigana vita. Tuweze kupigana hizo how strong man ambao wamesimama miaka mingi kuzudia maisha yetu lazima tutapigana wao na tuweze kupata ushindi in the mighty name of Jesus praise the name of the living God hizo principalities ambazo ziko zinazuidia breakthrough yetu zinazuidia baraka zetu lazima tupigane hizo vita ndio you know, kuna mapinga pinga ya kutengenezea magari barabara Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na mimi tumefanyika matinga tinga tunaweza tengenezea wengine barabara. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Lakini wacha nikwambie kuna getina tumeshimba na bado tutazidi kuchimbua hadi mapenzi ya Mungu yafanyike katika mji wa Nairobi, katika mji wa Kayobe, katika Eastland yote, katika jina la Yesu Kristo. This is the power of God in the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tunapomwambia Bwana utupe nguvu zako. Wiki hii Mungu unijaze katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Nataka tusimame tuna miguu yako tumwambie Bwana we are ready. Tuko tayari. Hata wale wako nyumbani mwambie Bwana niko tayari kwa sababu ya nguvu zako. Niko tayari Mungu kwa sababu ya nguvu zako. Niko tayari Bwana najiandaa kwa sababu ya nguvu zako. Oh najiandaa kwa sababu ya nguvu ambazo unaenda kuachilia. Najiandaa Bwana kwa sababu ya nguvu ambazo unaenda kuachilia we kama zaya sitakubali kuremewa katika jina la Yesu Kristo fungua kinywa chako mwambie ama vairabo mwambie bwana ama vairabo niko tayari bwana kama chombo ambacho kina kiu kinatamani nguvu zako keraba hata bagana najua familia zetu zime zimefinyiriwa sana na powers zaina tofauti najua familia zetu ziko na powers kama za farao zimefinyiria familia zetu watu waopati kazi watu hawakai katika ndoa watu hawakai katika wokovu watu hawafanyi harusi na katifu watu wamefinyiriwa katika familia zetu wacha tumwambie bwana we are ready for your power we are ready father for your power so that we can be able to overcome all powers in the name of jesus Eka bagana mwambie Bwana tuko tayari niko tayari Mungu eka bagana ena manze behe tarabina mwambie Bwana niko tayari vile Mungu ulifanyia Moses vile ulifanyia Moses ulipatia power akapigana na powers i need your power oh god feel me lord with your power 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 nijaze Mungu na nguvu zako nijaze Bwana na nguvu zako katika jina la Yesu Kristo I need more of your power in my life in my life in Jesus name nimekataa kupigana vita vya kupoteza natamani nguvu zako katika jina la Yesu Kristo yetabaganda the power we need your power we need your power in the name of Jesus Christ yetabaganda mwambie Bwana tuko tayari we are ready my father mungu tuko tayari kwa sababu ya nguvu zako zinazosaidia wengi he kabaganda zilisaidia mitume wakahubiri injili jerusalemu judea samaria wakahubiri injili katika dunia wakageuza dunia upside down hey shakaba nini ambacho walitumia mitume walitumia power walitumia power wakageuza dunia upside down tupatie hizo nguvu tuweze kugeuza maeneo tugeuza Tugeuze maeneo ya biashara tugeuze maeneo we kabagana we need your power king of glory we are ready my father
in Jesus' name, fill us, my Father. Break a baganda to Jaza Mungu. Na guvuza kubwana katika jinara Yesu. Dio tuweza kushinda vita viote via chini na via juu. Break a baganda katika jinara Yesu. Hey, hey, kanama. Hey, tere de. Hey, kata. Hey, kanama. Break it, tere de. Break a zone mona. Hey, kanama zeria. Hey, kala baganda. Hey, kanama zeria. Pendo omba, omba, sio bure, hautoki hapa bure, unaondoka hapa na nguvu za Mungu za kukusaidia, za kukupigania. He kabaganda, utatamuka maneno, mambo yatafanyika kwa sababu you are a kalia of the power of God in the name of Jesus. He kabaganda, omba mpendwa, hautaondoka hapa bure, utaondoka na nguvu za Mungu zinazoweza kukusaidia kupigana, he kabaganda na kuposesa na kushinda na kusimama katika raini yako na kusimama katika wokovu katika jina la Yesu kuna mambo mengi saa hii yanaondoa watu katika njia za Bwana kuna forces kuna powers kuna principalities ambazo zinaondoa wengi katika njia za Bwana lakini usikubali kuondolewa lakini ukiwa mudhaifu unaweza ondolewa ukiwa mnyonge unaondolewa ukiwa mudhaifu unaweza kuondolewa shetani alisema nimekushinda Yesu lakini wacha niondoke saa hii kwa sababu kwa fasting you are you have the power lakini nimeenda nitakuta baadaye wakati unaofaa wakati unaofaa shetani akamwambia Yesu nitakuja wakati wewe ni mudhaifu heka baganda heka na mazaya unaweza kuwa umeshinda shetani katika vita nyingi lakini lakini angependa kufanya mudhaifu akuje wakati wewe ni mudhaifu akuweke chini akumarize akushambulie ni wa sauti yako umwambie bwana nijaze tena weka baganda nijaze na upako nijaze na nguvu mpya katika jina la Yesu more of your power in Jesus name more of your power weka baganda more of your power more of your power more of your power more of your power my god in Jesus name Mwambie Bwana nijaze na nguvu zako 
hata kupenda watu oh my god kuna watu hawapendeki mekata ya ba wanakuudhi wanakusinya kila wakati ndio uweze kuwapenda lazima uweze kuwa na nguvu za Mungu zinaweza zinaweza kuwabeba hata kama hata kama ni watu wabaya wanakusukuma weka bagana unaweza kuwapenda unaweza kuwaombea hata kama hata kama oh my god wamekufanyia nini kwa sababu gani you have the power to overcome every evil weka bagana neno la Mungu rasema tusiweze kushindwa na ubaya wa namna yoyote tuweze kushinda ubaya na uzuri ulio ndani yetu sumwambie bwana ni jaza na nguvu zako katika jina la Yesu i need more of your power in my life in the name of Jesus reka bagana i want more of your power oh god feel us my father tujaze mungu tujaze na nguvu tujaze na upako tujaze na uweza ikana mazaya in the name of Jesus hey shakabaganda ikana mazere beta rabona ino mikono yako mbele za bwana oriboshi ndai rabahata rababozia ina mahata rabagana ino mikono vizuri mbele za bwana na uwe tayari sio pasa kangethe hapana ni roho wa Mungu anakuja ni roho wa Mungu anashuka oh ye yeah. oh ye yeah. hata malaika alimwambia Mary alimwambia sio mimi hata kama mimi ni malaika sio mimi lakini roho akija juu yako atakufunika na utaweza kuzaa mkombozi sio pasa kangethe ni roho mtakatifu anakuja atakujaza atakujaza na nguvu za Mungu zitakuwa maishani mwako zitakuwa maishani mwako na kuanzia sasa utaanza kuona matokeo tofauti kuanzia sasa utaanza kuona disorder ambazo ni tofauti na zile ambazo umekuwa ukiona you need the power of god enamazaya ya tabaganda oh my god oh my savior jiachilie sasa jiachilie sasa kwa Mungu yes Yes. Jiachilie sasa ndio. 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 Jiachilie sasa. Hey, nasikia nguvu za Mungu ziko hapa. Meha tabaha na kuna watu wanapokea. Kuna watu wanajazwa. Kuna watu wanajazwa. Kuna watu wanajazwa. Kuna watu wanajazwa. Kuna watu wanapokea uweza. Nguvu nyingi. Nguvu nyingi. Nguvu nyingi. Zipokee sasa. Zipokee sasa ndio wengine zile vita mnapigana ziko juu sana unapigana vita vya juu zaidi unahitaji nguvu zaidi zipokee sasa zipokee 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 yes my god yes holy spirit yes holy spirit yes 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 holy spirit yes holy spirit ndio yes Wengine zile vita mnapigana. Mnapigana na ngome. Mnapigana na misingi. Mnapigana na madhabahu yaliyo na nguvu sana. Lakini sasa pokeeni nguvu ndio muweze kushinda hayo madhabahu. Me hata bagana. Pokeeni nguvu nyingi za Mungu ndio muweze kuleta chini huo utawara ambao umeinua kichwa katika familia. In the name of Jesus receive the power of God receive the power of God yes yes dio 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 yes yes hizo nguvu za mtakatifu yes yes hata uko juu asha hey hey shandaba na ya tabaganda the power of God is present the power of God is present hey katayaba ne kaso kabaganda dio dio ndio hizo nguvu za Mungu ndio hizo ndio hizo nguvu za Mungu hata wale wamekuwa wakifanywa wanyonge kuna watu wamekuwa wakifanywa wadhaifu wanafanywa wadhaifu ndio shetani ashambulie jamii kwa sababu yeye ndio watchman ndio sababu wameanza na wewe ndio akunyamazishe akufanye mudhaifu amaliza familia mzima nimesimama kukataa na wewe na kuombea sasa pokea nguvu mpya zile nguvu ambazo zimekuwa zikikutoka pokea ujazo pokea kufanywa upya pokea ujazo mara tena 
Sofia Ujazo mara tena hapa tuko na watchmen wanasimama kwa milango ya familia zao ndio sababu wananyamazishwa ndio sababu wananyonywa nguvu zao ndio jamii zishambuliwe na kuombea sasa na kuombea sasa pokea hizo nguvu pokea hizo nguvu za Mungu zikuwasaidie ndio utaendelea kusimamia hiyo jamii wengine mahali Mungu amekupanda amekuweka kama watchman usimamie hiyo area na kuombea sasa nguvu za waganga za wachawi he hazita kuweza nguvu za devil worshipers hazita kuweza wewe ndio 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 hiyo maeneo Mungu amekupanda wewe ni mshindi wewe ni mshindi pokea nguvu sasa maombi yako na yabadilisha hayatakuwa maombi ya kawaida ya taachilia moto maombi yako ya taachilia moto kwa kambi ya adui kwa kambi ya adui maombi yako mea akataba ukitamuka maneno sio maneno bure ni maneno yamejaa power sio maneno bure ni maneno yako na nguvu shaka baganda ye kataya nama ye terebe nama ikana mazie sherebo ye tana mazia baganda ye tana mazia baganda ye tana mazia bahata ye tana mazia bina ye tebe genda ba shaka taya ba ye tabaganda ba ye tana mazia bona re katabagana yes oh my god yes my god Yes Jesus. Yes Holy Spirit. There is power. There is power. Leo, hey. Kuna watu wangeisha. Wamekuwa wakimalizwa pole pole. Wanamalizwa pole pole. Ndio Mungu akanituma akaniambia wiki hii. Ataachilia nguvu kwa watu wake ameona kuna watu wamekimbizwa sana wamechoka nguvu zao zimekwisha wamebaki na nguvu kidogo lakini sasa wanapokea nguvu mpya hawatakwisha hawatamalizwa hawatakwisha hawatamalizwa hawatakwisha ikana manze rebekenda ekabaganta rababonsaya yetana masha dabara katarabu ina manze rebekenda Inaya shereri ana mazaya yeta raba shandia baganda reke ya raba bozi atabaganda yes my god yes my god thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit we love you holy spirit we bless you holy spirit thank you holy spirit we worship you thank you Thank you Lord. Niguze tena Niguze tena Niguze tena Bwana Niguze bwana Niguze Na mkono wako Ulio na nguvu na uweza Niguze Tena Bwana Niguze Niguze tena bwana Nijaze tena bwana Nijaze kwa nguvu zako bwana kwa nguvu zako bwana Nijaze tena bwana Nijaze ndio ombi letu baba siku ya leo na pia katika wiki hii yote bwana niwacha nguvu zako ziwe dhahiri mahali hapa mungu katika jina la yesu kristo
wengi wakapokea nguvu mpya wengi wakafanywe upya nguvu zao wengi bwana wakapata nguvu za kuwasaidia kupossess king of glory maeneo tofauti iwe ni katika biashara maofisi huduma na mambo mengi ambayo umekusudia tuweze kuyapossess in the name of jesus kumbe ndio sababu nilikuwa naambia Joshua aweze kuwa strong ndio aweze kulidhisha watu mashamba kumbe ndio sababu bwana unataka tuweze kuwa na nguvu zako ndio tuweze kupossess mambo ya kiroho vipawa neema za aina tofauti ndio pia tuweze kupossess mambo hapa ulimwenguni bwana kama ilivyo mapenzi yako naombea kila mmoja katika jina la Yesu bia bwana baba wacha tupokee nguvu zako zituwezeshe kushinda vita za kila aina vita vya chini vita vya juu vita vyote O oh, King of Glory vita vya watu wa karibu vita vya maadui vita vya shetani vita vya kimapepo vita vya principalities vita vya powers O oh God vita vya magonjwa tuweze kushinda kwa sababu ya nguvu zako tujaze baba wiki hii tumejia chilia kwako enda nasi na utusaidie katika jina la Yesu tunakuinua bwana na kila moja bwana hii wiki Mungu wacha kuwe na watu utakuwa na testimonies ya kile ambacho kitafanyika maishani mwa kila mmoja in Jesus name father we bless you king of glory we worship you in Jesus name thank you thank you Lord. i'm trading my shame i'm laying them down for the joy of the